Hi mates, we're at Pro Life Fitness in Glasgow. We're training an upper day. Gonna take you through it, gonna teach you how I do everything, how I set everything up, how many rep sets, everything in detail. Here it is, just before we get into the video. If you like this type of video, consider giving it a like, subscribe, and even drop a comment if you're feeling dangerous. If you don't want to, I will come and two foot your door in and piss on your toilet seat. So like it, subscribe, and comment. Love you lots. So first exercise is a shoulder raise. We are doing three sets here, eight to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20. It's the Cybex one, it's an absolute fucking beauty. Key pointers on this one is obviously this little thing where the, the, the thing turns, that's called the axis of rotation. Just to be in line with that, just so you don't really f up any joints. F off these handles because you don't need them. What you want to do is almost have your hands just slightly in front of you. Don't think about the handle and then raise it up, pause it, back down again, pause it. So what I'm now gonna do is drop the pin by one little pin on the stack, and then I'm just gonna shoot for a higher rep range. Obviously, if you were doing a top set, back off set, like you would do the, the heavier set first and drop maybe two pins, and then you do the second set, but I'm doing three, so I'm taking it a bit smaller loads. Second exercise is a pull down variation. We're doing the hammer strength one, just because it's available to us. You can do Cybex one, cable one, whatever you want, anything that's gonna bring it almost like a pull down, but keeping your elbows close towards the body, just because it will then bias the lats and not so much more than the mid back. Forgot to say we're doing eight to 10 and then 10 to 15. <laughs> I thought I'd done it. I was like, what the fuck have I done oh, now? Sorry, mate. I've, I've no done one bit, you want to do it, no one bit mate. <laughs> Man's just took my fucking weight off. Key focuses on this one is get it a seat tight, not too high, not too low. Then lock yourself in as much as possible. Obviously not yet, because I've got to hold on to the handle. Then what you want to do, grab the handle, lock yourself in, slightly tilt towards the size you're using to line up the elbow better with the lat. Drive up, not all the way up, about there. Keep your lat engaged. Drive down, keeping the elbow close, drive it into the back pocket. You want to imagine keeping your shoulder as stable as possible. Don't over rotate and then twist it in. Keep your elbow locked down, elbow in as much as possible, and then driving down back into your back pocket. And your f***ing lats will fire, I promise you that. Whew. Next moving on this upper day is a row variation. Whether you want to do a like cable row, machine row, I'm doing the Cybex V2. V3 row, you can use hammer strength, you can use cable, you can use dumbbells, just anything that's literally rowing the weight. Keeping elbows tight as possible for a lap biased focus. Two sets here, eight to 10, 10 to 15. What you wanna do is obviously anything rowing movements, you wanna keep your elbow as tucked in as possible. So if you're rowing like that, your elbow wants to go outwards. If you pronate like that, or supinate, sorry, your elbow automatically goes inwards. So as much as possible, try and keep it inwards, if not neutral. And then you're able to bring your elbow directly in line with your lap, back and down. That's what your main focus is, is almost putting your, your elbow into your back pocket, back and down, and then your lats will f engage so much. Keeping your shoulder locked in again, because any movement is in your scapula. You want to keep it there, back, down, lock, and pull it back and down. And your lats will f fire. Hi mates, quick interruption. One-to-one -one online coaching. Fill the link out down below. Oh, you don't want to miss out. Be coached by me, all on an app, 
Everything's tracked through there. 24 seven WhatsApp support. You don't want to miss it. Become the best version of yourself. Apply down below. Even if you're on the fence, just apply and see what I can offer you. And then let's get you to your goals. Love you lots. Carry on with the video, Kian. Transition. So next movement is a Cybex Eagle chest press. Realistically, it's any chest press that converges. So a dumbbell chest press, maybe like a hammer strength chest press. This one, this literally goes inwards. It's beautiful we can't really get better than that you can even do a d-handle cable chest press because that's very very good maybe a bit more stability needed on that one but this one we're doing 8 to 10 10 to 15 again top set back off yeah key focuses for any chest press make sure you're not too high not too low so i need to move the bench up a bit about there's good for me lock yourself in main focus on this one is driving your elbows inwards towards the midline getting the pec as short as possible Driving, elbow inwards is all I'm thinking. Pause, elbow in. Back down, pause, elbow in. That's the only thing I'm thinking about. You can just do it without any weight. Just drive your elbows in. That's when you can track. So think about that during your movement. Ow. Big booty bitches all in this place. Time to grow some boobies. Oh shit, that's heavy. Control it. Squeeze. Couch. Oh my god. Yep, no, not a chance. That rep was like a disappointment. That's what my mum tells me. That is a chest press variation done. We're now doing a pet deck. You could do like a cavicular fly on cables, or you could do anything that really like drives your elbow across the body key focuses on this one is make sure you're driving your elbows inwards towards the midline that's how you get the pec short and then do not stop until you get it there don't focus on bringing your hands together because then that means your elbows are not close towards the midline we're doing three sets now 8 to 10 10 to 15 15 to 20 keeping form tempo technique all the same throughout the movement the only thing that changes the speed of the rep meaning the last rep is going to be a bit slower than the first one that's when you know you've hit failure You know when you've hit failure in a rep, when your last rep is slower than your first. Everything else stays the same. First rep, nice and quick. You do your set, and then you come up to your last rep, and it may go like this. You don't stop. You keep going, squeeze it. And you go down. That's when you know you've hit failure because the last rep is considerably slower than the first one. So next exercise is a preach curl bicep movement. You can do anything preach curl. You can do cables, dumbbells. I'm using a preach curl because they got the Cybex one, which is absolutely phenomenal. And then the next exercise will be a tricep movement. I'm thinking about a cable tricep push down with cuffs, but we'll play it as it goes really. common misconception I see with bicep training, and a lot of people get this wrong, is one, not contracting in the shortened range. You really want to rinse what you can from it, but also two, not going heavy enough. Your bicep's made of slow twitch muscle fibers and fast twitch muscle fibers, which means you've got to train it heavy and light. So don't neglect those six to 10 rep ranges on the biceps there. Hey, it's Kian, the editor here. Tristan actually told me he needed a shit, so he rushed the end of this video, and he forgot to tell you what the next exercise is, but it's a tricep extension, any variation, four sets, two eight to 10, two 10 to 15. But anyway, don't want to interrupt anymore, back to the video. That is session finitoed. Wow. Oh my God, that was a good gym. Met the owner, got recognized I think about seven times. Atmosphere, 
10 out of 10. Equipment, I'd say a good 9.5 out of 10. And just music was nice and quiet so I could film. Not copyright music. You can't complain. I really, really like the gym to be fair. It is really, really good. Just a genuinely nice gym. So if you're in Scotland and you fancy a little change up around the gym, Pro Life Paisley is the gym to go to. But apart from that, I'm going to wrap up the video. Again, if you like this type of video, drop a like, subscribe, and if you're feeling dangerous, have a little comment.